Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. Earlier, we took a look at Jairus Wrath. This is a weapon that had long been promised in Anthem. I said in that review that Jairus Wrath is a top contender with the only limits to that weapon being range and the fact that it is kind of average when it comes to dealing with apex enemies and bosses. Overall, range was the deal breaker for me when it comes to Jairus Wrath. This weapon right here, on the other hand, overrules those complaints to the point where you begin to wonder why Jairus Wrath exists in the first place since this weapon has so much utility when you compare the two. Flashfire is a volt caster rifle just like the Jairus Wrath. It fires a single beam of electricity which connects to targets in chain to nearby enemies. Some of you might have seen mechanisms like that in different games before. Now as long as enemies are within range or in close proximity of each other, the chain will connect to each other. It also has a hidden perk that allows it to bump up the damage the more enemies are connected with that electricity. This is something that I notice when I see three chained enemies of the same type die quicker than two chained enemies of the same type. And it was weird for me at first. So I decided to go into a controlled environment such as the caves just to confirm this discovery. And I noticed that, you know what? That is actually not that bad. Now, this version comes with a base of 40 range, and if you combine this with the chaining capabilities, you can reach even greater ranges. Now, because of the electricity damage, you will be able to remove enemy shields completely the way you do with Jairus Wrath, and this is something that will work and scale very well on any difficulty within the game. So, what can we gain from this weapon in terms of utility? Why should I pick this one over every other weapon, over Jairus Wrath or something like Lightning Rod? Range is number one reason and number two is going to be the ad clearing slash boss potential when you're looking at this weapon. I noticed that if you attack a bigger or stronger target, this weapon chains the damage to other enemies and because Apex enemies have higher health and take longer to die, this means that you can use the same enemy as a connector or a conduit for attacking other enemies. All you have to do is to attack the powerful target like the elite units or the bristleback and you will automatically kill all other enemies around it or behind it. That is really cool. And even if the boss didn't take damage at all for some reason, maybe it's immune or something like that, the weapon will still chain to other targets, which is something that I really like about this weapon. That 40 range is a winner in my book. I don't care what anybody say. I really like that. Now, Jairus Wrath has more damage, about two times more than Flash Fire. And the reason that Flash Fire might be a better choice is due to the fire rate and the fact that you can chain more enemies and chaining enemies equals higher damage based on that secret perk. The short range of Jairus Wrath also means that you're at a high risk every time you use it. You have to get close. You may be using Storm Javelin with low armor rating and you might want to back off a little bit because you know that getting close will get you killed, which means you don't get to see the full potential of the Jairus Wrath weapon. Jairus Wrath is going to be only suitable for that close range battle. While when it comes to flash fire, flash fire is suitable for that long range and mid range battle, which is quite down the alley of a lot of storm users or even people who don't want to get close to begin with. Now, at the end of the day, the choice will still come down to your play style and your builds. If you have high armor and you know how to navigate your way, then you don't have to worry about being close or being far. You just want to pick whatever is fun to you. Now, with that said, though, I would like to hear your thoughts on this. Would you pick Jairus Wrath or would you go with Flash Fire? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.